Yeah, good evening, my friends. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Is uh, that's a cause of a controversy in the, the uh, presidential debates uh, and in the race to the White House? You know, that's a real simple understanding that we can't let Hillary Clinton be the one to make it to the White House, and we can't allow Bernie Sanders either. We don't need another Democratic president. Uh, the Democrats are pretty much the uh, Socialist Communist Party of the United States. And they're totally against our military and the people themselves. Uh, Hillary Clinton seems to think that she's above the law. And everything that's going on with the investigations that points to everything that she's done wrong should have already been you know, charges should have already been brought and uh, it's it's getting to be something else I'm beginning to have serious doubts as to whether they're going to prosecute her I realize that uh, she's going to make the excuse that if she is charged and removed from the race that it was uh, a uh, coup d'etat to take her out of the race and uh, that's that's all well and good let her claim that facts are facts the woman's guilty of sin everything shows that she's been uh, displaying and, and emailing uh, from her own private server, classified and above top secret documents, and um, I don't understand it. The uh, DOJ should have already brought charges against her uh, a long time ago, once it was discovered that she had been doing it. But, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, the Democrat side is going to take care of their own and uh, it's it, that's that's why we've got to get the Democratic Party out of the picture granted we have a lot of Republicans that uh, are guilty of helping cover up things as well and against the American people too uh, some of the old rhinos that have been there for years need to be removed. I think you'll agree with me that there should be term limits. There shouldn't be anyone allowed to, to uh, have office as many years as what they do. This has gotten out of control and, and why we've gotten so many problems. We need statesmen. We don't need politicians. Statesman goes in, does their job, does it the right way under the Constitution, and then once their term is up, they leave. And that's exactly what needs to happen in Washington. Otherwise, we're never going to get back to the American constitutional way of life. And only those that are Constitution believing and believe in enforcing the Constitution. You know, we're, we're going to be uh, without all of it if we don't get people in there that'll do it. So, we got to think about that. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, the infighting of the Republican Party, they're also worried about Donald Trump. But I'm not campaigning for the guy, so to speak. But I do believe that he's got the right idea about protecting our country. And that's what we need. We've got to get our borders secure. We've got to stop the influx of all of the Islamic uh, people coming in because from where it looks, I'm going to say probably 80% of them 
are quite capable of fighting war, and that's why they're coming here, so that they can fight against the people here in the United States and try to develop a caliphate here. And Obama's doing his best to make sure there's plenty of them to do it. So we've got to do something. And I think that everybody ought to get behind Trump. And uh, let's just get this done. You see, he's talking about stopping their uh, uh, immigration to the United States and stopping their uh, uh, status of refugee until they can be verified. Problem is, there is no way to really verify. So until this thing is over and ISIS is completely wiped out, I agree, we need to stop it. Uh, because they, they don't belong here. Truthfully, I know this is just my opinion, Islam does not belong in the United States. It's, this is a Christian nation. It always has been a Christian nation. And Obama made sure that uh, he uh, got Islam going real good here in his turn. And that's, that's not right. And he's saying that uh, the uh, uh, Islamics here have benefited the United States. And no, they haven't. They've been a burden on the United States. They've been a, a center of conflict in the United States. And they keep pushing on Sharia law. And Sharia law has no place in the Constitution because the two contradict each other. It's going to have to come to some kind of a screeching halt. And uh, it's only going to be a, a matter of time before we have a civil war. And when we have a civil war, the Islamists are going to be fighting against us, trying to wipe us out. And uh, the military, for the most part, will be on the people's side. I, I, I just honestly believe that the uh, uh, military, especially the enlisted grade, will uh, side with the United States people. And they uh, understand that their oath is to protect and defend the Constitution. And in order to, to do that, they have to follow the Constitution. That's why I'm reaching out to them to confirm their oath to protect us from both domestic and international terrorists. And, you know, they're being brought here, so uh, it's going to be a pretty good fight by the time it's all said and done. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things that military has been involved in where they have confiscated, such as during Katrina, they confiscated the guns, and that was a violation of the Constitution. Those soldiers that followed those orders, they should be punished, because they did not uphold their oath. And so we're going to have to really clamp down on things and we're going to depend on the military to help. I mean, can you imagine? They're going to want to uh, uh, confiscate guns, but I feel like they're probably going to bring foreign troops in to do it. I think that NATO will be brought in and UN forces to uh, try to uh, enforce the, uh, the confiscation and the arrest and, and uh, imprisonment of the people in, in the family camps. And what we need to be doing is gathering up the Islamic people and putting them in the family camps so that they know where they're at and that they don't have anything to be able to fight with. 
I know there's a lot of people out there that may disagree with me, but I really feel that's what needs to be done. Once we've got them all rounded up and everything, I think they should be deported to the Middle East. That's, that's where the Islamic religion of so the state is. But I don't hold uh, the. Uh, <coughs> I don't hold the <coughs> Islamic religion as a religion, because it's not a religion. It's an evil ide ideology where they are the rulers. And anything that uh, people have got to say or believe that disagrees with, with their uh, ways is, uh, uh, you know, th those are the ones they want to kill. They want to kill what, what they call the infidels. Well, I, for one, I guess, am an infidel, and I'm proud of it because I certainly don't believe in the ways of Islam, and I never will. Jesus Christ is my Savior, God is our Lord, and He's the one that, that uh, created us and created our world and has protected us all these years. But a day of reckoning is coming because Jesus' return is, is very soon. All the signs are there. If you haven't read the, the Bible, you need to, and you need to learn everything that's in there because Jesus is coming. And uh, the prophets that actually wrote his, his words and prophecies, they're all there. It's just a matter of reading them and understanding them. So folks, uh, you might consider that because Jesus is coming back soon. And those that are uh, with the Lord will... You know, we'll be uh, taken to heaven. I'm not much of a preacher, but I, I do believe in, in Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. I have been saved. I've been baptized. And I'm ready for him when he comes. But I just wonder how many can say that. One good thing to get involved with, if you can, is the Black Robe Regiment. We've been looking for a, a, a good Black Robe Regiment leader uh, for our side. And if any of you are interested in the job, let me know. Uh, all you got to do is uh, join the site, and we'll uh, discuss it. And if you're interested, we'll probably get you set up as one of our black road leaders. And uh, anyway, the infighting and stuff that's going on with the Republican Party, not many people anymore or the realize just how far gone the government is. The establishment, as they call them, are the corrupt representatives and senators and other government officials that don't want to change the status quo of our situation. They want everything to remain just as it is and get bigger and richer. And the only way we're going to stop it is to get the right people in there, get the laws passed that lobby from any corporation no matter who it is, it is a felony, and uh, that way the people will be represented like they should be. And if anybody's caught taking anything or, or being persuaded in any form uh, by lobbyists or corporations, those people go to prison including the senator that accepted it or the primary representative, whichever the case may be. We've got to get our country back. It's got to be on 100% constitutional. That means that the government will shrink in size probably uh, 
I'm going to say in the tune of about 70 percent. Government's not supposed to be big, nor are they supposed to dictate us what dictate to us what we're supposed to do. They're not supposed to be running our lives. They're supposed to be protecting our rights. That, that's the only thing they're supposed to do is to protect the rights. Anything other than that, they're not following the Constitution. And we've got so many laws, regulations, and uh, other items in the uh, government going on that we don't have a constitutional government. So we've got to get it back. And if you've got any comments or anything, by all means, let me know. And please join our website. We try to publish the truth there. Uh, and if I catch something down there that's, that's not in the truth, then I generally remove it. Or at least make it worse. Make it worse not seen by anyone but the one that posted it. We need to have the truth. The people can handle the truth. The government can't. That's why they're wanting to fight this thing so much and try to shut everybody up. But anyway, that's my thoughts right now. You can let me know what you think. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.